Hello there my name is Rumet. This is an episode where I attempt to answer some life questions while asking others. Today's topic is punishment for evil. To start us off, I will ask, is there punishment for evil? What do evil people face for their wrongdoings that the good people don't? Don't we all die? Don't we all suffer? So I ask again, is there really punishment for evil? What punishment awaits the Taliban in Afghanistan? What punishment awaits the wicked forces behind the USA military? What punishment awaits the PCC gang members in Brazil? Will there ever be a punishment for the rogue policemen who kill innocent youth around the world? Will there ever be a punishment for local thugs who would kill just to have your phone? A lot of evil happens around the world. Is this evil bad or it's good in that it helps shape the world? From my humble observation, most of the evil things that are done in the world are only done for survival, whether directly or indirectly. I tend to think that if you believe an evil person will face any form of punishment for their wrongdoings, then you also believe that the other animals that have killed for food or just to mark their territory, or animals that have done any other injustice to their kind, will also face the punishment that awaits the evil human beings. I would like to conclude my point by reminding us all that we are products of people who won wars in the ancient times. There's no one alive in the present time that comes from a lineage of peace-loving community that never won a war. We are offsprings of ruthless people that were selfish enough to put their survival first. The future offsprings will be products of those who survive now.